Good afternoon, Dirt Track Central fans. Matt Kavasic here at uh, Central Arizona Raceway. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Talking to Benji Lyon, he's going to give us a little uh, walk through here at the, the uh, grandstands area. Um, Benji, tell me a little bit about your uh, your background in the racing and and what got you to this point here at Central Arizona. Well, um, this place has been going since. Uh, 50s out here on and off I had the opportunity to um, get on the promoter side in uh, 05 the car owner before that and stuff like that came from came from the John Deere business actually and uh, uh, it's the only thing that really kept my attention uh, was racing so when the opportunity came in 05 uh, me and my family jumped on it and uh, just been working at it ever since. Place closed in 08 due to some other stuff out of our hands at the county. Uh, had the opportunity last year to uh, put together a proposal on this thing and we're back. We just opened Thanksgiving and uh, having fun, man. It's, uh, it's all a building process right now. Every day's a building process as we've kind of seen this week, but uh, it's good to be back since Arizona on the raceway. Yeah. Good deal. Uh, you had some time away from here you said you went down to Tucson for a yeah. while is that right me and uh, yeah Kevin Montgomery uh, business partners down there in Tucson at USA Raceway for uh, about three years and uh, tons of good times tons of learning experience uh, learning to promote in a market of a million people um, with uh, all the big stuff around you it, yeah the experience was priceless man um, but, it, but yeah, again it, all of the learning steps to get back home, you know. Right. So there you go. Yeah. Um, and obviously, we're compare contrast with Tucson, and they run the uh, the Outlaw Modifieds right. there, and, right. and you've chosen to go with the IMCA Absolutely. sanction right. here. Right. Um, is that uh, a personal preference, or do you, does that fit your area here better, or what's the? Well, as a car owner for many years, it was all outlaw stuff, and. Um, as many people across the country know, money was different um, five years ago, ten years ago than it is today. Um, and I think what we put together at the time with uh, uh, the Border Racing Association through through uh, New Mexico and El Paso and Royal Jones, Sherman Barnett, was very successful for a long time. Um, and we had a lot of fun. I mean, car counts were phenomenal. Uh, as years passed on and on and on, uh, you could see that the money we were spending was was just out of control, and um, racers aren't aren't always your best rule makers, and neither are car owners. And I'm guilty of that. I, I mean, I, I played played a part in changing some rules along the way when we were kind of aligned with IMCA, and we got further and further away. And let's face it, I mean, IMCA is the most successful sanctioning body in the country. Um, so when the time came this time, it, it just I don't want to make rules, and I, I, I don't want to be in that side of the business. Um, and Brett and everybody over there, just uh, consistency every every year, you know. Uh, I think it's still our job to get car count um, as promoters. That's not Brett's job. That's not IMCA's job. Uh, it's about being consistent in a level playing field every time the racers show up. And I, I think uh, as dollars get tighter, racers have to choose. Um, how much entertainment they can afford and knowing that if it's going to be on a level playing field and um, uh, I think IMCA just just creates that and the stability that we all need in this sport right now I think IMCA just uh, uh, attributes a, a ton of things to uh, uh, to the stability and, and hopefully the future success you know so. that's great to hear the the long-term uh, yeah. um, vision that you have for this place and, and it shows that you you give it some thought, and you know where you're headed. Um, that being said, do you do you foresee other classes being sanctioned in the future, as far as uh, you know, you know um, sport mods and uh, you know the stock cars, that kind of thing? Is yeah. that? Yeah, I, the stock car stuff's tough because we're so. F I mean, we're all Camaros out here, as you can see. I don't think IMCA allows one Camaro in anything. Um, but I also know there's some things in the making with uh, like the West Coast Superstock deal or whatever they, uh, with Chris Kearns and IMCA getting behind that. So, um, you know, I'm definitely open to all those ideas and it seems like IMCA is now open to those ideas, which I don't think they've been in the past. Um, we built a very solid 
uh, what we call X mods out here, which is a B mod, sport mod type deal. Right. Um, and it seems as if IMCA is getting a little bit more flexible on on seeing what cars are out there and what's working and what's not. And, um, we don't want all of these customers to have to go out and and spend a bunch of money to get um, to get on that page. But right. But it seems but as a long term goal. Uh, absolutely. You know, yeah, and it seems like IMCA has that same goal right now. So. Yeah. And we got to see a, an IMCA legal car yes. compete last night. Yes. And, Yes. did very well and right. obviously had some bad luck but right. I mean it, it showed that after looking under both cars and obviously I'm a, a spectator and a fan and I'm right. not a tech guy but uh, there's definitely some distinct differences but um, those differences in rules right. a lot of times are more of a difference in someone's head than they yes. are perception. performance wise on the track I per think. And so, perception <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so Definitely good to see uh, you know, a guy with a power glide and that kind of thing, right. you know. Yes, no doubt. Come through the field. So right. anyway, um, we won't take up too much of your time here. I'll let you um, just show off your facility and uh, feel free to, to cool. tell us anything that well, again, uh, I mean, fans might want to know. A lot of stuff. We got the keys September 7th to this place, and it had been closed for four years. So uh, we just continue to work every day. As you can see, we still need some signs for our restrooms. <laughs> uh, but I do know that all the restrooms are clean and working. That seems to be a little bit more important. Um, there's just uh, there's um, what's up, guys? <laughs> As you can see, there's this is kind of where people congregate before, after, during. Uh, Definitely a nice facility. It's uh, hard to imagine that it was closed for well, for that kind of time. And a lot of this stuff was the stuff that the, the work that we put in while we were here previously. Uh, so. A nice t-shirt facility here. So come in and check them out if you're ever down this way. Concession stand. Still need some mini boards here, but I'm telling you, we got we have some awesome food here, and that's my uh, my parents and most of my family and stuff uh, are all a part of this thing, and that's why it's successful. This is a family deal. Uh, you can see people laughing and joking and smiling. That's what this thing is about. Yeah. A place inside, out of the sun, to eat when it's. Warm the way it's supposed to be in Arizona, but <laughs> I don't think a lot of racetracks have the indoor stuff. Great, I mean, and, and a lot right. of places don't have that option. But... Hello. Hello, how are you guys? Good. Good. <laughs> I'm feeling fancy today. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, new deal we're starting this year. Um, go-kart deal which has been successful at other racetracks and you can race them on your big track out no, here you no, build no, a smaller no, track we're building all new, all new uh, go-kart deal no, I mean, awesome want. hopefully it runs saturday mornings try to oh, cultivate wow, that younger cool. crew to and their families of course to stick around for saturday night stuff as well that's definitely always the challenge isn't it uh getting the getting the family involved so if you are happy all the time <laughs> uh, three eighths mile track, correct? Yeah, Is that what we you know, yeah, classified I, it. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> they're all ninety percent. They're ninety all percent of the right? racetracks in America are three eighths, right? Which that's is right. definitely a big one. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> things been racy all week. I think everybody has seen that. 